All right, this is part two of using the playlist builder and scheduling it. But I'm going to add to this. Um, this is going to be an extended of part one. And basically, we, we saw that you could build a playlist or put together a show that say, let's, let's say it airs every Friday. Okay, you're building a manual show or manual playlist that runs every Friday. So let's look at, let's first of all, look at the event for that. And we're going to take this load my first playlist. And now we're going to just schedule it for Fridays. So I'm going to uncheck everything. And we say Fridays, 6 p.m. That's 1800 hours. Okay. So we know how this loads, but now we're going to do this every Friday at 6 p.m. Okay. And just give it a name. All right. It's the, it's the John Doe show. And I like to leave notes in the name of my events. Okay, just little notes. So I know the John Doe show airs every Friday at 6 p.m. But the John Doe show is actually loading this My First Playlist. Well, you don't want to have to, like, make a different event each and every time you do a new show for that particular show. Like, we don't want to have to make a new new event because we made a new different playlist. We're going to use the exact same playlist that's going to load the exact same day and time, but it's going to be a different show every time. So the first show has run. So we're going to go back over to our playlist builder. The first show has run. It's Saturday now. You got some time. So we're going to open up that playlist called my first playlist. We're going to open that up. All right. So that's what played last Friday. Now, if we want to, we can, let's see if we can take all these out at one time. No, we can't. We got to do, no, we can clear it right here. We're going to clear this playlist. And now we're going to get ready for the show for the next coming Friday. So we just, all we did was we cleared out the playlist and we're loading in what we want to do the next coming Friday. It's that simple. And then once we're done with it, we just save it and then we can go, go out to lunch or do whatever it is that we want to do. So basically we're using one playlist to put together a show. And now that I have a new show for the ne next Friday that's coming, because this thing is scheduled to play this particular playlist every Friday at 6 p.m., I've, I've cleared out what was in there. Now I'm, I've changed up the show, got some new, you know, different songs, whatever. Now I'm going to save this playlist again. Now when you want to overwrite a playlist, you're going to go down here where it says replace the playlist. I'm going to do that. And we're going to overwrite this My First Playlist because we're getting it ready for the next show for next Friday. And we're going to save and replace. Why would we do that? We would do that so that we do not have to touch the event scheduler at all. It's already set and scheduled to run that particular playlist every Friday at 6 p.m. So just by going in and clearing out the playlist and, you know, building a new show, now we're able to... That event will play this playlist, but it'll be a different show because we went in there and we cleared out the playlist. We put new songs, new drops. Even if I had voice drops, if I had voice drops, let's say I go over here to the sweepers. These are voice drops. So if I, you know, even if I put voice drops in there, would it go? Yeah, right there. Even the voice drops will go. Okay. So if I had voice drops that I needed, 
they would go as well. All right. And so this is an addendum to part one where you, you are using the same playlist every week that you are putting together manually in order to, um, so you don't have to work so hard. Part of automation, radio automation is so that you don't have to work so hard. So we're using the same playlist that runs every week and we're just changing it every week so that when it runs again, it's a new show. Okay. Hope this has helped. Click like, subscribe, share it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.